Hello, everybody, and karibu to this week's episode of What Does the Bible Say? I am so delighted that you chose to join us. My name is Matenke Maina, and with me, as uh, always, yeah. I am joined by my good friend, uh, David Nyoike. Last week, if uh, you guys have been following with us, and by which I am actually encouraging you to go back, check our earlier videos uh, for what we have done, and I know that God will continue to use and uh, actually just inspire you mm. to more faithful following of yeah. him and unto faith. Mm. So last week we talked about the parable of the talents and how Christ will actually come on the last day mm -hmm. to ask us to account for whatever he gave us on earth, be it resources, be it time, be it opportunity, and the question was, will you be able to stand before God and account for the gifts that he gave you in this life? So today, we still continue uh, to look at the same chapter, that is uh, Matthew 25, but today we will look at uh, the 10 virgins. Many of you have heard this parable, so yeah. I hope and I pray that actually uh, our conversation here will shed light, mm -hmm. a bit more light to this parable. Yeah. So, Karibu Sana Bora David. Pleasure to be here, man. Yes, it is a yeah. pleasure as always, every week, yeah. and thank you for holding with me uh, this long. So, let's look at uh, Matthew chapter 25, mm. from verse 1 to verse 13, okay. if you may read for us. All right, so let's turn to the book of Matthew. Let's read from uh, chapter 25, from verses 1 to 13, and this is what the word of the Lord says. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At mid midnight, the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Mm. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied, they may not be enough for both of both us and you. Instead, go to, the, to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who already went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the others also came. Sir, sir, they said, mm -hmm. open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth. I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. Wow. That is the word of the Lord. Yeah. Praise be to his name Praise indeed. Praise be to God. Now, let's first uh, go quickly to the context, yeah. as always, so that we may define yeah. uh, how we will be looking at this parable. Mm. I believe we said and we have insisted that context <laughs> yeah. is king. Yeah. So, yeah. I think the context here is just the same as uh, what we were looking at uh, last week. Mm. That Christ is talking to his disciples mm -hmm. privately. Yeah. Uh, he has taken them in like a private place mm -hmm. and he's telling them about the secrets of the kingdom. Yeah. And he says the kingdom of God will be like. Yeah. So again, this is a futuristic mm -hmm. look into the kingdom of God and mm -hmm. how it will be like. Yeah. Uh, futuristic for them was yeah. from the time that they were, <laughs> uh, they were getting the parable <laughs> yeah. going forward. Yeah. So it's from the time of the uh, of uh, Christ living mm -hmm. earth to the yeah. time that he will come back again, mm. which is the time that we are existing yeah. uh, uh, today. Yeah. Then the disciples are his audience clearly, mm. and uh, Christ is the one speaking. Yeah. But maybe uh, some of the things that we can observe there mm -hmm. uh, as we go into the observation bit yeah. from this parable, I think we can break them down into perhaps the characters of the, in the story, yeah. and then uh, any other thing that we may, we may look at. Yeah. Uh, in that parable. Yeah, so I if you would yeah. uh, do that for us. I think we, we can definitely observe um, these specific characters. We can see there are ten virgins who, again, yep. had lamps. Yep. And they were going out to meet, again, the other character, who, yeah. is the bridegroom. who is the bridegroom. Yeah, we are not told anything about the bride, but yeah. uh, we see ten virgins. We, we have um, a bridegroom here. Yes. And we see a distinction. Um, there is a sense of, we, we see those who are wise, we see those who are foolish. Among the ten. And also, we are told why 
the wise are distinguished from the foolish ones. Yes. Uh, we are told in verses 3 that the foolish ones uh, took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. And yet the wise ones, verses 4, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. So yeah. there's a sense of preparedness. Yeah. yeah. We see um, the wise ones carrying lamps and extra jars and of extra oil. And extra oil. And then the foolish ones. Again, yeah. doing the exact opposite. Yeah. But again, also we see the, the element of um, also time. There's yeah. also an element of time um, whereby we are not told <laughs> the time that the, the time bedroom yeah. will come. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a sense of uh, there's a there's a long time there. He was a yeah. long time coming, coming. and mm. we see these guys also suffering some effects. We see them the ten virgins actually s- they became drowsy and they fell asleep yes um but again later on we we find the the reaction uh when the bridegroom comes yeah um when you are they're like guys <laughs> yes yani, we are trying to here. wash our lights and uh, they they're cannot not, go the, the lights are not uh, no, the lamps are not working out yeah. as they would want uh, they would uh, as they they would they hope would have desired. Uh, they would have desired yeah. so ultimately uh we see them asking again they are the ones who are in need, yes. asking the wise, um, the wise whether, they virgins, would share. whether they would share. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and which is interesting. I mean, th- probably one get one get one get idea. <laughs> <laughs> probably will help us with the, yes. the interpretation later yeah. on. But uh, we see these wise um, virgins t- telling these foolish ones, "Go and find some this, for yourself. This is impossible. Yeah, we, we cannot, cannot we cannot share, share this. Yeah. Uh, go out there and again at midnight." Yeah, and find yeah, someone and who and find you someone somewhere. who can actually sell yeah. you somewhere. Interesting. Yeah. When the Bible is talking about midnight, yeah, you might expect that these guys were waiting for the bridegroom from around six in the evening mm. uh, because they had carried uh, their lamps. Yeah, yeah. But th- these are like six hours they've been waiting. Yeah. They yeah. even get drowsy and sleep. And sleep. Most of the time, uh, in these, in these, uh, if, if, if you have ever used a koroboy. I know, <laughs> <laughs> perhaps <laughs> being brought up in Nairobi, you might not experience what a lamp looks like. Yeah. But yeah. for those who do not know what yeah. a lamp looks like, that has uh, a wick. Yes, it yeah. has. Uh, it's sort of like a kettle. Yeah. But on one end, yeah. the the hole of the kettle where you pour tea, it's a wick. Yeah. That is uh, pulled mm. uh, into that hole. Yeah. The wick goes into the into the mm. lamp, the kettle-like yeah. thing. And there is oil in there. Mm. So it's pulling oil uh, out mm. through the week, and the week is the one that is burning. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the kind of uh, thing we see. The lambs you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and the oil mostly was olive oil at that mm. time that was used to, la- yeah. to light uh, the lamps. Mm. So interesting uh, to see that in this parable. Yeah. Uh, then the, t- and the time delay, mm. but definitely at one point, yeah. the bridegroom actually shows up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about uh, the interpretation bit of mm. that, and <laughs> I, li- I like the issue of uh, w- uh, Eastern weddings. Yeah. Eastern weddings, if you read the story of Samson, mm. he goes with his mom and dad, and yeah. they are going to take the bride for him. Yeah. But he prepares a party. Mm. He is the one who prepares a party at the bridegroom's home. Yeah. Many of us who have done Rashios, mm. you know how. Even though you are going to the girl's place, <laughs> you are actually the one who hosts that part. Well, it's on you. Yeah, well, you know, you chunga with your friends and you go and yeah. host a party yeah. of your friends yeah. in the bride's home. Yeah. So it is not unlike us, I think we can understand yeah. what, uh, what they are talking about here. But the bridegroom comes to the bride's home mm. to be given the girl and holds a big party for about mm. seven days. Mm. It's actually such a big party. Mm. At Samson's time, he was given 30 companions by the Philistines. Yeah. Just keep, uh, keep, uh, keep him playing, uh, yeah. if you have read uh, Samson's yeah. story, that yeah. is. So the same we see here, sort mm. of. That uh, the bridegroom is being waited for yeah. to come for his bride. So perhaps the bride is in the chamber waiting. Mm. But the... Uh, virgins mm. are actually supposed to be waiting mm. so that as the bridegroom is coming, yeah. when they hear that the bridegroom has yeah. come, they wake up with their torches mm. and they escort him mm. in. And they light yes. they, they they light the, the path. This is uh, what we <laughs> cut and raise us yes. for, the, yes. for, uh, for the event. Yeah. They're actually the ones who light the path yeah. for him to come yeah. into the bride's chamber. Amazing. So yeah, uh, th- th- that's just amazing. Mm. Let's go to interpretation quickly. Yeah. Okay. Um, and look at what mm. are, uh, what is this the bridegroom, who yeah. is the bridegroom here, yeah. uh, and who are the virgins uh, yeah. can begin there. So I think we can start with the bridegroom. Yeah. Um, the previous chapter, um, from chapter 24, we yeah. see Jesus 
talking about his coming, the signs mm-hmm. that will precede his coming yes. and how the end of the age will look, like. will look like. And ultimately, again, as we observed last week, verses tw- chapter 24, verses 36, mm. says that no one knows about the day or the hour, yeah. um, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Mm. Th- that time when Christ will come, yeah. it's, it's something that is no absolutely hidden. Mm. And, and what we see here, l- just as the ten virgins were so unaware of the time, the um, coming of, of the, the coming of the bridegroom. That's the same same way we are. So here the bridegroom um, I- is likened to Christ, yeah. who will come in glory yes. and descend uh, to meet um, his, his bride, bride, which is the church. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. Now, the virgins, these yeah. ten virgins. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, five are wise and five are foolish. Yeah. Before we go there, I believe the virgins here mm. are representative of the Church of Christ. Mm. It is the Church of Christ that is waiting for Christ to come. Mm. It is them who have significance about Christ's coming. Yeah. The world does not care whether Christ comes. Or In fact, they don't even believe there is a Christ who will come. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. this event, for, mm. for us, the Church, yeah. we are waiting for the bridegroom. Mm. Eagerness. Mm. Almost as if the ten virgins who are yeah. there waiting, listening out for a cry of the bridegroom is mm. here. Uh, that is us who are the church. Yeah. But unfortunately, among the church, mm. while all of us hold a profession, yeah. and we saw the issue of the lamps, yeah. all of us have lamps, mm. and all of us are waiting for the bridegroom mm. with our lamps. Mm. That's a profession yeah. uh, of the faith. Yeah. Uh, and everyone is saying Jesus is Lord. Yeah. And all of us are saying we come on Sunday and meet here and all mm. of us are singing. So when you say the church, you, yeah. you mean... The gathered the church, gather- the, yeah. or rather okay. the visible church. Okay. The way I would come into my black eye, okay. Roaka, and find all these guys seated here. Okay. And I'm like, yeah. wow, yeah. this is the church. All right. so in that sense, mm. all of us have an outward profession that Jesus yeah. Christ is Lord. Mm. And all of us, in a sense you mm. would say, are waiting for Christ to return. Yeah, if yeah. our profession is yeah, true. Yeah. But among us, mm-hmm. five are wise mm. and five are foolish. And yeah. five not to mean that uh, the church is divided into two half and half. Mm. No, not necessarily. Yeah. But that part of the church mm. represents very wise virgins mm. who not only have this profession of faith mm-hmm. that we saw the light, the lamp, the wick, yeah. but they have oil. Yeah. Oil mm. in such that Something that is required for you as, mm. the, bride is, uh, as the bridegroom is coming. Yeah. Something that actually shows your preparedness mm. for the coming of the, of the bridegroom. Yeah. That, for me, mm. would be the only thing that actually distinguishes mm. those who are ready for the coming of and Christ the, and those yeah. who are not. First, the imputed righteousness mm-hmm. that Christ gives. Yeah. The righteousness that he has clothed us with, mm. which only comes by faith. Mm. So, yeah. the first thing, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Mm-hmm. Like in your heart, have you set Christ yeah. as Lord? Yeah. Then you have the oil if that is the case. Mm. And the uh, Bible guarantees us mm. that all those who have received Christ, mm. he has given unto them the Holy Spirit, mm. who is the guarantee. The seal. The yeah. seal. Yeah, guarantee of the inheritance that is of to come. Of the inheritance that is to come. Yeah. So if you have the Holy Spirit, if then you have a true faith, yeah. if you are uh, marked out by the imputed righteousness of Christ, yeah. Then you have the oil mm. in readiness of Jesus. Wow. However, there are mm. those among us who oh. also profess Christ, yeah. but do not have the oil. Mm. There is an outward profession. Mm. You know, how do we, we are carrying lamps. Yes, we, car- we are carrying lamps. And, and, uh, and waiting. Yes, and okay. uh, people who are viewing us can say, ah, this guy is a Christian. Mm. In fact, when, when you go somewhere and you, you mm. are required to feel your religion, you say you're yeah. Christian. Yeah, yeah. But there is no inner faith in Jesus Christ. Mm. There is no Holy Spirit who has set you apart yeah. as Christ's uh, inheritance. Mm. There is no imputed righteousness mm. of Christ uh, by his uh, dying on the cross. Yeah. That is the person mm. who will describe here as part of the foolish virgin. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's really profound, yeah. just to note. Again, this time factor. We, we see... Yes. Verses 5, the bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. asleep. Yeah, so is it is that verse really condemning <laughs> the idea of, of sleeping <laughs> <laughs> or <Yeah>. sleeping or, <laughs> or drowsiness? Because again, you have ably shown us that I mean, the church, the visible church, yeah. uh, is representative of 
the ten virgins. Yeah. But we see the wise and the foolish yes. experiencing the effects of both the uh, experiencing of the, the drowsiness the and and and, uh, and and feeling yeah. again actually not even feeling asleep. I mean actually sleeping, falling, falling asleep. So yeah. how 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 does that play out? Yeah. Um. How does it like l- look like in our present yeah. in our present lives? Um, for those who actually are professing the faith, um, how how would you, what what specific terms would you yeah, put? Yeah, would, um, would, would, would I put, put it in our in our current, in context, our current context that would represent drowsiness and yeah. slumber? I, I, I think yeah. uh, many of the times when we say watch and pray, uh, <laughs> we we want to assume it is physical. Uh, watching, uh, like a watchman. Yeah, yeah please. Oh, that oh, what you said that. Gala, okay, yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I, I once went to a yes. and, 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 and there's a photo that was taken. Yes. And posted on Facebook when yeah. I was asleep. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that is good evidence that you that is, uh, I, I was not watching. I wasn't praying. watching and praying. Okay. But when Christ is exhorting us to watch and pray, mm. and even now at the last verse, uh, verse 13, yeah, he'll actually say. Keep uh, therefore, watch. keep watch. Yeah. He's not asking us don't sleep physically. Yeah. Please, <laughs> don't feel guilty about sleeping. Uh, go to bed and sleep. It is God who, gave, uh, who gives sleep to, to those, those he loves. loves. <laughs> yes. But the, the sleep here represents the effects mm. of Christians yeah. as they wait for the coming of Christ. Mm. True, he has been a long way coming. Yeah. It has been 2,000 years. Yeah. Well, 2020. Oh, okay, yeah, almost 2,000 years because you, you would uh, minus the 33 okay. years of him yeah. being here. Uh, but that is a long mm. time coming. Yeah. And all of us might be feeling the effects of drowsiness. Mm. And we are wondering, is he really still coming? Yeah. And, and the church can get to a point where we start having this um, feeling of he has delayed for too long. Mm. He, he's... he's He's been telling us he's coming soon mm. and soon he's not coming. And the effects can mm. be, like we're saying here, mm. drowsiness yeah. and sleep. Yeah. And all of us are like, mm. might even at one point lose the vigor of yeah. waiting for Christ and mm. going for cashers and doing missions and evangelizing to our families mm. and all that. Mm. However, the mark that actually differentiates the church, yeah. the foolish and the wise virgin, is... Even if the effects of this waiting are all on us, mm. and all of us might feel discouraged and mm. start uh, feeling tired of waiting, yeah. do we, mm. me and you, yeah. do we have the imputed righteousness of Christ? Mm. If we have that, yeah. even though the effects of waiting might down on us and our zeal might go down and all that, yeah. we are actually still ready. Mm. For the coming. What they did here, after they woke up, they yeah. trimmed their lamps, and they welcome mm. the, the, yeah. the bridegroom. Yeah. But for those who are actually experiencing these same effects mm. of drowsiness, yeah. yet do not have mm. the, lamp, uh, the oil filled in their lamps, yeah. they will suffer great loss. Yeah. Because when the Son of Man comes and he comes at an unexpected hour, mm. they will not be able to say, oh, uh, Jesus by there was among um, among your people. No, yeah. you are not. Yeah. He actually says, I do not know them. Mm. Close them out. Yes. And you are yes. excluded from the party. Yeah. So that, that uh, I think that is a time mm. delay factor. Mm. Sleep will come. We'll all feel the effects of Jesus' delay. Yeah. But question is, are we still ready for mm. him? And also, he's the, the, the time frame is not an excuse. Yes. Just because he has delayed, it's not an excuse for us to know that exactly. he will definitely come. He will definitely come. And His arrival is assured. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he has said that he will come to mm. get his church. He has said that he's coming. The bridegroom is coming. Yeah. Whatever happens, however much time he takes, yeah. we know mm. that Christ has been a long time coming. And you have mm. had this narrative since you are a child. Christ is coming. Christ is coming. Mm. He will come. Yeah, that is a sure. That is as sure as it goes mm. that the bridegroom will come. Yeah, and when he comes, yeah, you will not be able to share the oil. Mm. I think yeah, that's yeah. the other thing yeah. that we see. Yeah. There. Yeah, it's that these wise ones mm. tell them, I cannot share my oil with mm. you. Why? Because it is personal responsibility. Mm. We looked at that last week. Yeah. Where he's calling the guys uh, of the talent. Uh, yeah. What did you do with your one talent? Yeah. It is not a collective. These mm. virgins to make mm. what? To put tank. Ah, <laughs> it's yeah. You as one of the virgins, mm. you have what it takes. Yeah. Uh, as you wait for Christ. 
Wow. So there is a personal responsibility mm. to that yeah. for which we will all be called to account. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know whether we can go to the application. Yeah, definitely. We can definitely go to that and ask ourselves then how does this apply uh, to our lives? I think the main point, the main point of this parable is to remind us of this one thing that you ought to be ready for the second coming of our Lord Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. And you um, your choice of not being ready, yeah. ha you have to pay a higher cost. Yes. And the higher cost is the public rejection of the bridegroom, yeah. of Jesus Christ saying, yeah. though you're calling me sir, sir, though you're calling Lord, me Lord. Lord, Lord, I will definitely, definitely, I do not know you. I, I do not know you and I have nothing to do with you. Yeah. Um, and therefore, the, the call is to keep watch. The call is to be ready. Uh, the call is to ask yourself, from a personal standpoint, are you s are you just carrying your lamp and saying, okay, you are part of this bandwagon. You are part. You are part of this bandwagon. I'll keep on carrying my Bible. I'll keep on praying during meals. I'll keep on doing all those churchy 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 things that you Christian things. Yeah, that yeah. pretty much would look like you are waiting and being ready. Yeah. But you have the one thing that distinguishes you from um, the foolish. Yes. Because again, you know what we see in this text is that. The, you couldn't tell who's wise and who's foolish. Um, yeah, by the until, looks of it, until, until the time, um, yes. un until that time when the the, the bride the bridegroom came and he was like, "Hey, uh, when I'm trying to trim my oil, my my lamp, I don't going have out. it's, it's, don't it's have going out, so I don't have what it takes." So th yeah. I think the call is to be ready and practically, um, what we can do uh, again is just fueling our our hearts with uh, by, by reading God's word, praying, yeah. and and ensuring that we are resp not actually responding. Um, the word is honoring yeah. and living um, a, a holy life yeah. that is in keeping with what we yeah, what we profess in anticipation of um, our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, maybe yeah. something else I would uh, of, uh, I would add, and especially our congregants, um, guys, you might be part of us coming to church every Sunday attending uh, all the meetings and all the gatherings, and in a sense, looking like we are all part of mm. the virgins who are waiting for Christ. But you know yourself. You know whether you have what it takes. Mm. Sometimes you bring your wife and your children, if you're a guy, and, and, and sit in service. Mm. But really, in your heart, have you set Christ apart as Lord? You may be... Uh, have been brought up in a Christian family and you know it's the right thing to do. Mm. But me and you and Christ know whether you have the oil that it takes. You know whether the Holy Spirit is in your heart. Mm. You know whether you are really born again, whether you have professed faith in Jesus Christ mm. and are believing in him. Without which you will not be allowed to come in. Mm. You don't have the oil that it takes for the virgins who are waiting for mm. Christ. And if you don't have that, Christ will shut you out. There is, there is no saying I was part of these guys. We were waiting together with them. Mm. You need the oil. Mm. Do everything you can. Today is the day of salvation, as he says. Yeah. It's, it's not tomorrow. Mm. We do not know when the bridegroom cometh. Yeah. And when he comes, you will try to put up your, uh, your lamp and you will find you don't have enough oil. You don't have what it takes. Mm. And your wife cannot share it to you. Your children mm. cannot share it to you without it. You are actually going to be excluded yeah. from the wedding yeah. party of yeah. Christ. Yeah. You are not going to go. Mm. So think about it. If you have been putting the decision over every time a preacher stands on the pulpit and he says, mm. hey, is there anyone who has not given their lives to Christ? And you look at that and you say, okay, maybe next time. Mm. Maybe next time. There are some guys who have had, they say, ah, when I'm closer to the days mm. of my death, I will actually give my life to Christ. There will be no such chance. Have mm. you realized that when the bridegroom is told that they are come, there was no time for them to go and get the oil. Mm. They actually went out and the bridegroom came in and yeah. closed them. Yeah. You need to get born again today. Mm. There is no other day. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. Yeah? Amen. So, Santa Sana, Thank you. I'm really Thank grateful you, to uh, look at this parable with yeah. you. And I know there are still a lot of uh, implications mm. that we can draw from here. Yeah. I think we can stop it there for yeah. now. And uh, guys, if you have not watched our earlier videos, again, we encourage you to do that. But keep looking. Uh, perhaps 
hit the notification button or subscribe so that every time we have a video posted, you can be able to yeah. uh, watch it with us. If you have someone who you think needs to hear this message among Shade. your family or your friends, please share it. Yeah. I will be so grateful. Have a nice week ahead.